Hi there guys and welcome to another edition of Extremely Cocky's War Review. I believe this is file 11. Um, let's have a look at the war log. So today's edition is for Extremely Cocky versus Epic Militia. Um, now, as you can see, the score is 94-89, however, um, they only put their last attacks in right at the very end. They were never, ever going to win. Um, and we, For most of the war, we were 30 stars ahead of them. Um, now, I went to bed shortly before war ended, and I was really surprised to see that they'd come back 89-94. But at the same time, it's nice to have a clan that doesn't just give up on you. Um, so they didn't do too badly coming back at us, but... Uh, we were never scared or worried in any way. Um, let's have a look at the war map. <clears throat> now, as you can see, they didn't even attempt our one and two, so that was six stars. I mean, they were never going to get three stars, but, you know, you really need to... Uh, if you're not going to do one and two, then you really need to get three stars uh, from the rest down in order to be able to win. Um, their uh, best attack was against myself, uh, Southern Fairy. Um... And it was, uh, it was a really good attack, actually. Um, both myself and Marcus, uh, we go again, who is our leader, um, both both of their attacks on us were identical uh, by different different guys, I think. Uh, Luke, um, yeah, so number, number three and number two, both attacks six and seven, and, uh, and their attacks, I have to say, were really good. Uh, it's the first time I've been three-starred uh, with the current base. It's the first time I remember Marcus being uh, three-starred ever. And, um, you know, credits where credit is due, it was a good attack. However, they were TH10s coming down on TH9, so uh, let's have a look at there. So their highest, or sorry, our highest three stars was against base number six, so ever so slightly better than them. No, I'm base number six. Okay, so that's even. Anyway, let's have a look at Jose's attack. Um, now, number six was actually my number. I'm not going to show you the attack um, because it is it's really embarrassing, really, really embarrassing, especially when you see the base. Um, but uh, Jose was there to clean up my mess. Thank you, Jose. Uh, so as you can see, um, zero effort has been put into this base. They've just uh, plonked everything down. I'm sure they think there's an order to it, but um, yeah, it's not a good base. And uh, as we're about to see, Jose's about to pummel them. So uh, we've got three golems spread all the way over the edge of the base. Um, that way, it, all weapons will focus on the golems, and uh, all the troops behind will will just be able to wreak havoc. Um, and we've got a a rage, a heal, and a jump spell gone down more or less straight away. That queen really did uh, make the best use of that rage spell there, single shotting all of the clan castle troops. Um, the jump spell's obviously going to ensure that they get in. The king's uh, had his cloak activated to try and take down all of the Teslas um, as soon as possible. Get that middle dealt with. In comes the last rage to ensure. Once that middle's taken care of, the only thing we really have to worry about is a level 2 expo. And uh, I can't see that we're going to have to worry about that much. But as you can see, even the Golemites, they're still creating quite a lot of cover for the wizards um so they're just parked behind the uh, golemites taking everything down he has lost his king but um it's not going to be an issue queen cloak was just activated that last expo is about to go Got troops left over. And um, a great attack from Jose. An easy three stars. And um, well done for clearing up my mess, Jose. Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe I should show you my attack. It, was, it really was that bad. Uh, okay, so who got the uh, next highest three stars? I already know it's Jose. Um, so we won't feature Jose twice, we'll come down one, 
and I believe uh, number nine was done by Matthew. Yes, it was. Matthew's new to the clan. I know he hasn't been featured before, and uh, it's not the, the second highest three stars, but it's the second highest three stars done by somebody other. So let's go ahead and look at Matthew's attack here. He's uh, he's doing a go wipe with four wizards. Uh, chucked, well, actually, it's a go go wee wee. Sorry, my mistake. There are no peckers. Um, he's coming in from the south here. Golems are down. He's taken out a few traps there. That was handy. Wizards in behind to clear the outside buildings. Witches are down. Rage was a little bit behind where it needed to be there, but... He's uh, a TH10 going against the TH9, so he has an extra 20 troops and an extra spell, so... Um, you would expect this to be three stars, but uh, can't take anything away from it. So we had a rage heal, rage that gets the centre done. The king and queen are level twenty. Um, they've still got full health as they're underneath the heal spell, and he's more or less wrecked at the base. We've got witches and wizards and a pecker working their way around the outside. While the king and queen pretty much destroy the centre. And job done. Too easy, Matthew. Too easy. Well done, mate. Thank you. Um, so let's have a look to see who got uh, Clash of the Clans um, most heroic. And that was uh, General uh, Redbeard. Um, so let's have a look at his attack. So he's doing his opposite number, one versus one. He's coming in from the top. Two golems are down. Wizards behind. Third golem is down. All three peckers, boom, boom, chucked in there. A couple of bombs to open up. A rage spell. Two of the peckers look like they're going for a walk. One of them wants to come in. There goes the first free spell. Oh, big bomb took out a few wizards there. It's a bit of a hassle. Due to where the um, Infernos are placed, he only actually has to deal with one of them. And that one's dealt with. The Peckers are taking a lot of heat um, on the outside there. The Expo has got them, so that's good. It doesn't doesn't focus on the main troops, which it is doing now. But, <clears throat> but that's the Town Hall gone. That's 50%. That's two stars. Well done, Rich. So we've got some clan castle still knocking around here, but it's really not going to cause us any issues at all. 54%, two stars, well done, Rich. Um, so let's see, how, um, see who our special feature is going to be today. I don't think anyone went really too far above their number on uh, this one. Um, so we'll look for someone we haven't had so far, and we haven't had Aaron, number 14, Funk Boy. Um, I don't think we've had him anyway, so he did his opposite number. Um, our first attack in this war was against our opposite number. Um, for those of you who are watching who aren't in the clan, um, our war plan is different every single war, depending on the opponent's um, this one first attack was against the opposite number as uh, they weren't that good. They were quite rushed. Um, so Aaron's first attack was against number 14. And if I know Aaron, it was a go wipe. Let's have a look. It was. Where's he going from? Oh, 
He's going from the bottom there, so two golems go down, wizards go behind, standard, go wipe stuff. Now Aaron's one of these guys that puts the peckers down straight away, and um, okay, one of them's gone for a wonder, but okay, they're both going for a wonder, but normally. I don't know how he manages to do it, but normally the peckers never go for a wander. So, wasn't the best example, but... So you can see the clan castles concentrating on the golem there, which allows all the Aaron's wizards to um, take them down. He's got a pecker right in the centre, he's got a heal spell over those wizards, they're going to get the town hall in no time at all, especially with the pecker. We've got a golem stuck down south, unfortunately. And um, something else Aaron always does, uh, which I think is a fantastic um, tool in his arsenal. Um, as you can see below, he still has four wizards. Which he will put down at some point. <clears throat> but he likes to save them to the end. And uh, invariably, as you can see with the golem stuck there, you can lose all your troops, but then have a golem come through right at the end. Um, so if that's the case, you can put down those four extra wizards and take down that last weapon, sealing 100% instead of 95. Wasn't needed in this case, but uh, he's just used them there to clean up a few outside buildings. And we've just got uh, one level 10 cannon to deal with, with two level 3 peckers. I think this is a foregone conclusion. Call me old-fashioned. There you go. Well done, Aaron. Um... Fantastic three stars against this opposite number. I mean, you know, you can't you, you can't ask for more than that. And, uh, so yeah, well done, mate. Great attack. So that more or less concludes another war review for uh, for this one. Um, I do have another one to bring you. So. Shortly, we will bring you uh, the win against um, Ko Chai Fong. Obviously, not how you pronounce that, but uh, there you go. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. And as always, any requests from the clan, just let me know. Happy to do whatever you like. And uh, any any uh, funny defences or uh, attacks, whatever. Just let me know and I'll stick, I'll stick it in. Alright, thanks guys and um, speak to you soon.